Here we are again. We are, as you can see, we've already put on the foundation paints. We did a quick over with the washes. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is to put on your first layer of paint, your primary paint. And we're going to try to brighten these up a little bit. You're going to see it really take a lot of detail on and it'll start looking a lot better. As of right now, even though the pieces are semi-fieldable, uh, people would still look at them and go, wow, I can do better. Well, as we go through every step, it'll get a little bit better and better. Now, the first thing I want to do, especially around the chest pieces, because I know that they tend to be hard, is any area where I want to enhance the shadows, I'm going to trace around those areas, especially the emblems on the chest, with black. Then I'm going to move on to doing the ultramarine blue. Going to go ahead and paint all these up, add the various other colors in here, the, uh, the golden yellow across the, the feathers, and the, the chain mail across the, the metal parts that show on the figures. That way it really gets a good feel for it. So we're just going to get right into it. And like I said, the first thing I really want to do is kind of trace along any of the hard to get areas. That way I can really show the, the shading. A lot of areas we won't have to do that with because the washes have already done the job for us. But for any of the areas that might be hard or we might lose some of that detail, we want to go ahead and do that as an enhancement to it. Okay. Now, now that we've taken our time to go ahead and put on the primary coat, you'll get a good chance to see just what I was talking about, putting the tracer around, the emblems, the things that I felt were important to put in, the heavy shading, but still working with a lot of areas and using those washes and the darkness from the washes to really add a shadow effect to a lot of the other pieces without having to do an exaggerated shading with them. It gives it a more natural look. As you can see, we did, we used two different techniques. Right along the emblem up top here, we used the Chaos Black as a way to force a shadow effect. And on the backs of the armor, the wash and the foundation paints sitting on the back, using the primary colors going up to the areas that would be shadowed and leaving them at that gives it a more natural shadow-like effect. But both actually work. Sometimes you want to use one instead of the other for different areas, but you'll see that both work out well, and when you get good enough, you'll know which ones to use and which ones not to use.